people asking about the toilet situation in a small van like this, well, my friends, there it is. There is a toilet, and there is your view. I'm Adam, and that's Diesel. He's from the desert, I think, or at least that's where he was found wandering around by himself. So I adopted him, and now he's a beach dog. It was always my dream to move from England to live in sunny Southern California, and now here I am. My goal is to inspire people just like you to chase your dreams, and most importantly, get out there and find your everyday adventure. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today's a sad one. There seem to be a lot of sad episodes recently. Getting rid of the boat, now getting rid of the van, but exciting things to come. You guys, if you follow the channel, you'll know about the van, you'll know I've been building it for the last year, and you will have seen the adventures that I've been on in those past 12 months. If you are new, welcome, and this is essentially a guided tour around this van. Now, from the outside, it really doesn't look much, and that is honestly by choice. So it is a Ford E350 Econoline. It is the extended wheelbase, which means that you get that extra space in the back, so you get that extra window back there. It is also the 350, which means that it has a higher towing capacity, which which means that I can actually hook up my boat, my trailer, my race car, whatever, to the back of it, and I can tow that around. And I have done that multiple times. This thing is an absolute beast for towing. So it is a really good utility vehicle. Obviously, it is a cargo van, uh, but I have changed that. Now, we won't spend too much time on the outside because I know that you guys are more excited about what is inside this thing, but I just wanted to kind of give you the walk around. One of the things that I really want to point out is the fact that I did these ceramic, these nano ceramic tints. These have been a game changer. Obviously, in a van this big, the biggest issue has been keeping it cold when it's warm and warm when it's cold. And having this much glass really does make that a challenge. Now, these tints have made a huge difference in the sunshine and they repel something like 75 or 80% of the heat that hits the windows. So when you're driving, you stay nice and cool. And when it's parked up, it definitely does make a huge difference versus regular tints. Obviously, I went for the limo tint as well. So that means that when we are cruising around, you can't see into the van, so we get that privacy, especially on days like today, where if you wanted to change in the back of this right now, you could, and you wouldn't have to pull down the window blinds. But once you're inside, you can see out just fine. So, looks kind of like an old Econoline van from the outside, right? But inside, it is a pretty swanky little tiny house. We're gonna change like a POV thing right now because it's too hard for me to show you the van and also show you myself. And obviously this is what you are here for. So first things first, we have the shaker style cabinets. We have the butcher block countertops. Everything has been finished to an exceptional standard. And I cannot thank Chris at CK Woodworks enough. Without him, none of this would have been possible. He did all of the cabinetry in here and the man is a wizard. So Chris, thank you so much, mate. You have taken my dream, my plan, my ideas and turned them into reality. So thank you very much. So let's get in this thing. All right, so in the back, we have a full size bed. So this thing is perfect for me. I'm about six foot and I can sleep side to side, no problem at all. When I'm in the bed by myself, what I tend to do is put a cushion up in that corner and then put my feet down in this corner and then it makes it even bigger. But I have slept in this bed with my girlfriend and we both fit just fine going the full length ways. So these cabinets are all shaker style, like I said and they're on these beautiful hinges which allow them to stay up so that there's no having to hold them up in place. And we put these latches so that when you close them, they stay where they are. So now you have to give them, I think it's four pounds of pressure to open them. So it keeps them closed when you're driving. They've never popped open, it's perfect. Up here, we have the LED spotlights which are controlled right here by this switch. And everything in this van, including this vent fan in the back, and this vent fan in the front are all being powered by this Jackery Explorer 1000 battery pack. And also, so is this fridge. So I installed this Iceco fridge, which is actually deceptively big. 
A lot of people go for the more expensive ones. This was a cheaper option. I think it was around about the $400 to $500 mark, but it has been fantastic. You have a ton of storage here. You have some smaller storage for condiments and things that perhaps don't need to stay as cold and it does a great job and it is so efficient and it fits perfectly into this little sliding cupboard that we made and it just tucks away nice. Again, we put these brackets on here so that it keeps the door closed when you're driving and this has never popped out on us. So all you do, slide it back in, get it to there and then give it a push and that's it, solid. Same thing up here, we've got these beautiful hinges that allow the doors to stay where they are. This is normally where I keep my condiments, have my chopping block here pans as well, cups. Obviously when we're driving, these go into uh, this cupboard down here, but when I'm stopped, this is where we put all of the kind of snacks and the food stuff and everything else so that you can grab it nice and easy. The storage just keeps on going, so we have even more storage here. It's also pretty deep as well. And then in the back, we have extra storage back here for clothing and anything else. So all in all, there is an absolute ton of storage in this obviously including this one, which just has bum wipes. These handles are also awesome because when I'm lying in bed right here, what I do is I'll put my iPad up on this, rest it up, and it makes the perfect TV stand. Favorite thing about this van is laying in bed at night, all cozied up with all of the window blinds down, and it just makes this a beautiful kind of little nest. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've got the fan above the bed here, keeps you nice and cool when it's warm. You can turn this all the way up, so right now, we're only on 50%, so you can go pretty much all the way up to like full-blown vortex. And if it rains in the night, this will automatically close this so you don't get wet. Just like that. So onto the drawers. These are beautifully installed on these very nice sliders. We went with ball bearing uh, sliders here because we wanted to make sure that everything was beautiful and even though we do have these clips here they are also soft close <laughs> so they soft close to there and then you give them a little push and that keeps them in place so we've got three of those so in here we have some tupperware we have my little toaster and we also have my sandwich maker and then the bottom slightly smaller drawer because the wheel well for the van is actually back here so this drawer is slightly shorter but deeper, so this is where I can keep all of my gas stuff. Uh, so teapot and then also gas bottles and things as well. Give that a push. This one right here, this is another storage cubby. Now this one is actually one that I've been using for charging my camera equipment. And so this is where I will have a separate battery bank, all of my chargers and then everything stays nice. And what I was planning on doing was converting that space back there into a little secret cubby so I could have almost like a safe. So I'll just put another piece of wood in on magnets. It would look like that was the back, but then you've got that extra cubby back there. So that's really important to have, especially when you're traveling in your van, somewhere secure. So just in case someone does break in, you've got the ability to keep stuff safe. Talking of keeping stuff safe, there is one more secret drawer. I wonder where it is. The reason it's secret is because I didn't order enough door handles. <laughs> So this one never got a door handle. However, I do quite like it because you kind of have to like sneak it open this way. And this is my junk drawer. So this one contains basically junk candles and stuff. We've got some lead lens uh, lamps here, which if you are traveling in a van, let's see which one of these is charged up. These things are amazing. They are all, there we go. They are all battery powered. They last forever. They're super bright. You can hang them up, you can stand them. They are absolutely amazing. Uh, lead lens are my favorite LED light company and I'll link them in the description for sure. Look, they even have this little baby one. Moving on to the sink, everything in this place had to do double duty or I was trying to make everything do double duty. So this is actually a cover for the sink, but also doubles up as a chopping board. So you can use this to chop up your veggies and do all of that and then put it back in and it covers this enormous sink. I wanted a full size sink because I didn't want to have to do dishes in a little teeny tiny one. I wanted to be able to put everything in, wash everything nicely. There is a little uh, pump action faucet right here. It's not hooked up to water at the moment, but that gets water from down here where you can run a jug and this is the tube for it. So you just run that into the jug and then this will suck the water up and then give you fresh water. Here is my camping stove that I cook on 99.9% .9 of the time and uh, some cleaning supplies as well. The sink is actually plumbed down and it goes out through there 
and then down and into the bottom of the van where you can catch it in a grey water tank or if you are out in nature and you're using biodegradable soap, you can just let it run out into the groundwater. Now I know you guys are going to be thinking, does this ever get used? Because it is damn close to that. You are right and no, it doesn't get used. <laughs> so I installed this in here before I put in these top cabinets and basically once these went in, I realized that there wasn't enough space. And so this, honestly, you could do without. I do all of my cooking outside on my camp stove. I don't use this. So if I was rebuilding the van, I wouldn't put this in here. I would just leave this as open counter space. But as I put it in, I left it and it can be functional. You could use it in a pinch. I don't, but if you wanted to, you definitely could get a little pot on there. You would just have to open this window here in the back so that you had some ventilation there and then also turn this onto exhaust and that way all of the uh, steam would go up and out. So you could use it, but I never have. But it does look nice and it was a nice concept. And what you could also do is cut out this cupboard here. So you had all of these cut this one out and then that would give you that extra space that is also something that I consider doing but as I'm going to be selling the van now there's no point in me taking that on so the next owner can choose how they want to play that done any traveling in a van you'll know that a fruit hammock is very very useful so this is what you put your apples and your oranges and your bananas in and it swings around and your fruit doesn't go anywhere and then also I've got my kitchen roll stand behind I do have a couple of plants in here I would ideally like to put in more um, but like I said I'll be selling this thing so the next owner can do that but we've got three little guys in here I have about 50 plants in my house so this is definitely a few less than I'm used to but I was thinking it might be nice to do like a pothos along the back there, kind of hanging down. Yeah, anyway. Now this flooring is super hard wearing. This is actually the flooring that they use in supermarkets or stores where they have a lot of foot traffic. Uh, it's very well insulated, it's fully waterproof, it has a rubber backing on it. And we also have about an inch and a half of insulation under here. Also, we have about an inch of insulation in the roof and I also put spray foam into the door cavities and we have this Thintulate foam as well. Uh, so this also keeps the heat in and keeps the cold out and vice versa, keeps the heat out when it's hot outside. So this here, I would probably just put a panel, but I was also thinking about doing like a fold out table as well. So never got round to it. And the same on this side, you could utilize this space once you're outside eating outside of the van. So I know there's going to be some nerds wanting to know how this thing is hooked up to power. And so this is what I'm running, the Jackery 1000. This input here is actually from the solar panels on the roof. I have two 120 watt solar panels. And right now in this bright sunlight, they're giving me 103 watts of power. And with the fridge running, these fans running almost full power and the lights going, I'm only drawing 88 watts. So technically, at this moment in time, the sun is providing me with more power than all of my electronics together are pulling, which means that I could run this all day long and I wouldn't lose a single percent of battery power. That is how good this thing is. That is how good the solar panels are, how efficient this fridge is, and also these fans and these lights. So one of the biggest things that I wanted to do when I built this was make sure that I was 100% able to live off grid. And as long as you got some good sunshine, this thing will last you all day long. Not to mention the fact that if this is charged up to 100%, even if you were to go overnight where there's no sun, you still wouldn't drain this thing. And by the time you wake up in the morning, the sun's doing its best to top this back up again. So really rate this great system for van lifers. And the best part about it is that if you wanted to, you could pull this out, you could unplug all of the van stuff and you could take this with you and you could use it on a picnic or on a boat or wherever you wanted in your house as a backup. So great thing from Jackery. Again, I'll link this in the description below but I can't rate these highly enough. These battery generators are absolutely perfect for van lifers. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so let's go around to the garage, as I like to call it. Look, there's so many people here living in their van. Well, not living, but in their vans. I love it. Okay, so around the back here, we have the garage and the back of the bed. Now, a little pro tip to make the bed. It's so easy to do it from that side and then run around the back and do it from this side. If you try and do it when you're all inside, it's a nightmare. So it's a little tip I've learned and you can make your bed lovely like this. 
So back here, we have our uh, insulated blinds. So these things are brilliant. These just roll down. They've got magnets inside the trim and they all just stick up like this. You have to kind of hold this up because it's not been up for a while. And basically this will just stick perfectly giving you a blackout blind it also has insulation inside of it so it really does keep the heat out and also the heat in so if i've got to leave diesel in the van for any period of time then i'll put these down keep the fans running and it keeps this van so cool so then under here you'll see we have the garage so this is a brilliant space for storing stuff on road trips you can throw your bags down here and whatever uh, people asking about the toilet situation in a small van like this well my friends there it is there is a toilet and there is your view now i don't recommend doing it right here because you probably get arrested but the way this works is i get uh, compostable uh, trash bags and you basically run them around the outside drop them in sit down do your business get up tie it up throw it in the trash that's it or you can even bury it in the dirt because they are 100% compostable but this is kind of like an emergency toilet I wouldn't recommend you using this full time might get a little bit tiresome but I've never had a road trip where I've been that far away from a toilet or somewhere where I can go so this is just like an emergency thing and honestly it's as comfortable as pooping in my own house so I really rate these things I know a lot of people find that weird like oh what do you do about going to the bathroom that's it, super easy, super convenient, and you never have to worry about getting caught short. And these here are my blinds for the windscreen. So this rolls out, and then this is the inside, the black is on the outside. So when you look at the van at night from the outside with everything in, you cannot see a thing. It is totally, totally black. And inside you've got these nice, white window coverings so it feels nice and airy in here honestly nighttime laying in bed right here watching tv a few little candles on it is just bliss i love it it, does, it reminds me of like being in a little nest it's beautiful so yeah tons of room under here again we've got the insulation back here you could do a wooden board i've also seen people do sort of like a shower setup here where they have a, a shower mounted to this uh, or even just having like your toiletries a little mirror so you can come out here and you can do your makeup or your hair or brush your teeth or do whatever you want so yeah guys that is the off-grid camper van that started as a thing in my mind that went onto a scribble on a piece of paper and then me and chris at ck woodworks turned it into this and i am so proud of myself for building something like this to the standard i have i would argue that there is not another long wheelbase low roof van like this built to this spec that exists I've seen a lot of cool conversions. I've never seen any to this quality. I am so made up and I'm also very sad that I'm gonna be selling it, but I have got the truck now and I am gonna do that truck bed camper. Uh, unfortunately, I just don't have the space to keep this as well. Otherwise I would, I 100% would. I'm only getting rid of this because of space. It's been absolutely brilliant. I just did a thousand mile road trip in it. The thing works amazing. I've got upgraded Bilstein shocks on it. We did new exhaust headers. I've maintained this thing. It is just the most most brilliant, reliable, and fun, honestly, project that I've ever had to build. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. I'm sorry that you're not gonna get to see any more van adventures in this, especially now that it's finally done. <laughs> But I promise you, you're gonna love the camper van uh, or the pop-up camper, sorry, for the truck. That's gonna be epic and uh, we'll do lots more adventures. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you've got van life of friends, please share it with them and show them, give them some inspiration. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, find your everyday adventure. And most importantly, until next time, don't know anything I can do. See ya.